In a small village at the edge of a deep and mysterious forest, lived a young girl with a heart as red as her hooded cloak. She was known throughout the village as Little Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother, who was loved by all, lived in a charming cottage on the other side of the forest. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her to deliver a basket filled with freshly baked bread, butter, and a jar of honey to her ailing grandmother. Her mother, concerned about the dangers of the forest, warned, My dear, stay on the path and do not speak to strangers. There may be wolves lurking. Little Red Riding Hood promised to heed her mother's advice and set off on her journey. The sun's rays filtered through the leaves, dappling the forest floor as she walked. Birds sang cheerful melodies, and squirrels leaped from branch to branch, greeting her as she passed. As she ventured deeper into the woods, she noticed a rustling in the bushes. Out from the shadows emerged a cunning wolf with shrewd eyes and a sly smile. The wolf, intrigued by the sight of the girl in the vibrant red cloak, approached her. Good day, little red riding hood, he greeted with a charming grin. And where might you be headed on this fine morning? Little red riding hood smiled back, her innocence shining. I'm off to visit my grandmother. She's not feeling well, and I'm bringing her some treats. The wolf replied, such a lovely gesture. And where does she live, my dear? Little Red Riding Hood hesitated, remembering her mother's warning, but the wolf's friendly demeanor put her at ease, and she shared the location of her grandmother's cottage. With a nod and a wink, the wolf bid her farewell, claiming he had an errand to run but might see her again soon. Unbeknownst to Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf's true intentions were far from friendly. The cunning creature dashed through the forest, taking a shortcut to reach the grandmother's cottage before her. Arriving at the quaint cottage, the wolf pounded on the door. Who is it? Called the grandmother from inside. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf mimicked the girl's sweet voice. I've brought you some treats. The unsuspecting grandmother, lying in her bed, opened the door, only to find herself face to face with the menacing wolf. Before she could scream, the wolf pounced and devoured her in a single gulp. He quickly donned her nightcap and slipped into her bed, ready to play his part. Meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood continued her journey, the forest growing denser around her. She admired the vibrant wildflowers and listened to the gentle babble of a nearby brook. Eventually, she reached her grandmother's cottage and knocked on the door. Grandmother, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. She called out, come in, my dear, the wolf replied, mimicking the grandmother's frail voice. All the better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf replied. Little Red Riding Hood grew more confused. But grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf replied. Little Red Riding Hood grew more confused. But grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, the wolf answered. Concerned but not yet alarmed, Little Red Riding Hood pressed on. Grandmother, what big teeth you have. The wolf's grin widened. All the better to eat you with. And with that, the wolf leaped from the bed, his jaws gaping wide. But just as he lunged toward Little Red Riding Hood, a strong and steady voice filled the cottage. Not so fast. A huntsman burst through the door, a determined look in his eyes. With a single swift motion, he raised his gleaming axe and struck the wolf, sending him tumbling to the floor. The wolf, wounded and defeated, let out a pained yelp before succumbing to his injuries. The huntsman, with a mix of relief and concern, turned his attention to Little Red Riding Hood. Are you alright, my child? He asked gently. Little Red Riding Hood, trembling but safe, nodded tearfully. Thank you, sir. You saved me. The huntsman smiled warmly. You must always be cautious in the woods, my dear. There are dangers that can befall even the bravest of travelers. He helped her gather her wits and provided her with a fresh cloak. Together, they tended to her grandmother's cottage, 
ensuring it was once again a place of comfort and safety. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood heeded the lessons of the forest and the wisdom of her mother. The village and its inhabitants celebrated the brave huntsman who had protected their beloved girl. If you like our stories, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, Storytelling Adventures for Kids.